If you're one of those public speakers that say good morning, oh come on, we can do better than that, good morning, I automatically do not like you from that moment on. I hate that regardless. How long will you guys leave out a glass of water in your house and still drink it? It's not like it goes bad, but after a while it's weird, right? It's not that it goes bad, it's that more and more dust will get in there. And then you're just drinking your own skin flakes if you decide to grab that bad boy. 2021. 2022. <laughs> 2023 will be lit. What? What? Uh, no. Frantically putting on Victorian era clothes as I bleed out. Must fit in with other ghosts. Ooh, I never thought about that. Good point. I got a bunch of dental surgery, and while waiting for a cab to go home, a dude cat called me, so I just let a ton of blood fall out of my mouth. I wish I could do that on command, because I've never seen a dude immediately regret his decision more. Oh man, that sure would be an amazing talent, you know? Being able to just spew some blood from your lips. Mmm, get away from me. Conspiracy theory. Does Family Feud actually survey 100 Americans? I did some math. Through the years, around 1.2 million people should have been surveyed. I've never heard of one person doing a Family Feud survey. Do they even exist, or does the show just make up the answers? They probably just make up the answers, dude. <laughs> heard my six-year-old slowly and painstakingly reading a Nat Geo book about otters to his stuffed otter because I wanted him to know about his family. Well, that kid's gonna go far, man. He's gonna go plenty of places, Laffy Taffy inventor. And for the last taste test, this is our banana flavor. Boss, very good, very good. <clears throat> have you ever tasted a banana before? <laughs> I have not. Me neither. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know, that banana flavor tastes like every other crappy artificial banana flavor. Maybe I'm crazy. Credit card chip machines are like, do not remove your card. Do not, hey, look at me. Do not remove your card. Take your card out immediately or I'm burning this place to the ground. <laughs> there is no chill with any of those machines. Same thing with gas pumps. My parents are replacing their coffee machine, which is seven years old. Me? That's not that old, I have sheets older than that. Mother? Well, perhaps your sheets aren't getting as much action as our coffee machine. I'm going to need an ambulance. Now that right there is a true mom. Ha 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 ha! One day I'm gonna write a book about a recipe blogger that confesses to murder in every single recipe on their website. But they never get caught because no one reads the 12 pages of text before the recipe. As we all shouldn't. I literally spit out my water. Your child searched restricted topics. <clears throat> Alright, let's see, what do they read? Teaching crabs how to read. Alright then, not bad. The reason most of us stay up late is because we don't want our free time to end and tomorrow to start. Yeah. Isn't it funny how that works? Humans do not get free time. I was leaving Kroger's and this woman is outside with her baby in a stroller asking for money. I was about to give her some money. This man yells out, don't give her ass no money, that baby ain't real. Then he runs over and kicks the stroller. I'll be damned, the baby wasn't real. She yelled, damn you, Gary. Shout out to Gary, he the real scam police. No, Gary be out here like not on my watch. God damn, how'd he know that though? Fun fact, in less than four years, you'll be able to see 20 years ago under YouTube videos and that's horrifying. Oh my God, don't say that. You cannot say that, do you understand me? Oh man, some of Jack's film's videos are gonna be 20 years old! I can't believe he's 85 already. My grandma just asked me if I had a boyfriend and I was like, no. And she was like, well, I went to a random funeral because I was bored and that's how I met your grandfather? Apparently the random funeral was my grandpa's dad's funeral. My grandma went to a funeral and picked up the dead guy's son. I aspire to be her. Yo, man. It was a different time, different generation, just different all around, dude. How come on Star Trek they say they're gonna boldly go where no man has gone before, and then when they get there, there's always some guys? That's a fair question. It is Star Trek, though. Stop saying my standards are too high. Just because I intend to marry a plucky librarian and archaeologist who throws knives and knows how to hold her liquor and accidentally summons the spirit of Imhotep. I know it's not pronounced Imhotep, but just... Roll with me on this, all right? It's a silly, funny tweet. Have fun! Betty White was 17 days from being 100, but she lived through more than 17 leap years, so those extra days count to me. She made it. You're damn right Betty White made it. I'm very happy that people still ran her 100th birthday issue. It was worth it, okay? I'm sorry, it was deserved. Betty White was the shit. My boyfriend's Jim bro dude broke up with him. Hey bro, I'm gonna start going alone. I don't get the same pumps with some of your workouts like I do alone. I was talking to the big black dude and it has a lot to do with the fact that we have different body types. 
then I'm just talking about chest and back workouts. Arms, legs, and abs are always amazing with you. Well, that's really sad. Is your boyfriend okay? Science fact. It is impossible for a man to strap down any kind of a load in a trailer without saying, that's not going anywhere, as he tightens the rope. That's right. That is 100% correct and it always will be. When I was a little kid, I thought, this little pig went to market, meant it went shopping. Hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Doesn't make me happy either. The Y2K translucent age was beautiful. Yes. The Y2K Aesthetic Institute is one of my favorite places on the internet, and hey, look, we're getting closer to this coming back. We're going through the 90s right now, because people are letting the 80s kind of die down a little bit. But once the 90s is done, oh, oh, we are going to get the Y2K aesthetic back, and I'm excited. I can't be the only one who feels let down whenever I open a game case to this. I can't be the only one that thinks that's a monumental f***ing waste of any type of resource for that. I know, you like to collect the cases, I get it, I understand. My mom used to make potato soup. I would sit at the table for hours and refuse to take a bite. My wife just made potato soup. It's the most delicious thing I've ever had. My kids won't touch it. You deserve this. Oh, you deserve it hardcore. Johnny Cash. I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Johnny Cash's lawyer. Johnny, I'm begging you, you cannot keep saying that. <laughs> I think the reason I'm not more upset about the death of Betty White is that it's hard for me to imagine a universe that didn't grant her the ability to simply choose to die at will. 99 years old on New Year's Eve right before her birthday seems like a Betty White move. Legend. The Purge. For 12 hours, everything is legal. Even murder. So like, everything including immigration violations? Uh, and export restrictions on encryption algorithms? That's not really, uh, and software piracy for sure, right? Look, <laughs> hey, all crime is legal, which means it's no longer crime for that period. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever the hell you want, man. Uh, well, actually, don't. Please don't. In a sense, none of our dinosaurs have ever escaped because society itself is just another larger cage. <laughs> yeah, that sounds smart. But yeah, like 18 to 19 dinosaurs are currently loose, though. My boyfriend got me a hematite ring that breaks when it's absorbed too much negative energy from my life. It only took a month and I need a new one. I need to start selling poor quality items and products and marketing them like this. Yeah, the crystal girls will buy them up in a heartbeat. Half of Twitter is horny, half is depressed, and the other half is bad at doing math. Ah, like man bear pig. Half man, half bear, half pig. I wish I could Google search my own mind and just type in stuff like, what are my favorite movies? Or what was the name of the place with the really good egg rolls? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, it wasn't Jack in the Box. I once read that people who lived alongside orangutans have a belief or legend that orangutans can actually speak, but they refuse to because humans would put them to work if they knew. I think about that a lot. Because it's true. We would. So maybe they can. I just can't stop imagining a little troop of orangutans vibing in a tree and chatting until a human comes along and they're like, oh, shut the fuck up. They'll make us pay taxes. <laughs> Makes me really sad that, yeah, we would. We would do that to them. I just witnessed a lady throw away the center of a cinnamon roll. The center of a cinnamon roll. The greatest bite of the roll. The reason you get it. The center of the cinnamon roll. The world is full of absolute monsters. Monsters. Why are there no night museums? There are three movies explaining what happens at night to the museums. Yeah, those documentaries really opened our eyes. You weren't paying attention, were you? During lockdown, I wrote a script and sent it to various people. I've just received this email from someone at Netflix. Never give up on your dreams. Dear Mr. Heenan, thank you for the script. It's one of the best we've ever read. The writing is superb. It's tense, funny, and nonstop action. The only problem is it's the script to Die Hard. You literally sent us the script to Die Hard and changed the title to Mr. No Shoes and the Shooty Shooty Bang Bang Christmas. Never contact us again. I don't know, I need to watch his version though. Title change or not, I think it's gonna be better. I don't know who needs to hear this, but throw away that box your iPhone came in. You'll never need that. I don't know, see, I take care of my stuff. I don't let it get all f***ed up. So when it's time for me to get a new device, I can sell the other one. You see what I'm talking about here? The amount of people I've seen absolutely abuse their stuff is insane, especially when it's an $1,100 phone. I will be your NFT girlfriend. You can't ever touch or interact with me, in real life, of course. But if you pay me enough money, you can go around telling people I'm yours. Even though you're just the certificate. Someone just called my nine-year-old gay on Xbox and he responded, I'm straighter than the pole your mom dances on. I'm not intervening, me. You know how you always wanted an ostrich? Um, 
No. Insane amount of noise coming from the kitchen while I struggled to keep the door closed. My boyfriend said, You look like if Paddington was in the Matrix. Oh my god, he's right. Men should understand that some of these girls bring friends to a date because of safety. Not for your food and drinks. Then why are they eating and drinking? Some of them should be outside checking the perimeter! My dog is cuter than yours, fight me. Haha, <laughs> my ruse worked. Now I have hundreds of dog photos to look at when I'm down. Oh, that sick bastard. Remember when my pilot messaged me on Grinder at 30,000 feet in the air? I see you're on my flight. Enjoy the ride to Chicago. I'd be a little scared. Hello, I'm an adult in a Christmas movie. I don't believe in Santa, but have also never bought my children even one of the presents they receive every year. They just appear, and I'm fine with this reality. This is neither confusing nor horrifying. Question for lawyers. My girlfriend wants her parents to stay with us for the holidays. Her dad is retired Navy. Can I use the Third Amendment to prevent this from happening? I don't know, if he's retired, I doubt it. My sister and I are having a mac and cheese battle to see who gets to cook it for Thanksgiving. Mine's on the left, hers is on the right. Who y'all with? I think both y'all need to be in prison. Yeah, I don't like what I'm looking at here a lot. Imagine if parent-slash-teacher conferences existed in college. Dad, so how's my son doing? I've never seen this man in my life. Pleasure to have in class. A-plus student. Fat people worry about being judged at the gym. Truth is, people who are actually physically fit, they look on and think, respect, you're making the changes. If that's you, know that the next time you feel anxious at the gym. Vital update. My Roadrunner porch buddy used to run away if I wanted a picture, but now when he catches a lizard, he knocks on my door and then parades his catch around in poses. It's amazing. Who's a good boy, Mr. Meat Meat? Oh, isn't that just adorable? Romeo, Juliet is the sun. Neil deGrasse Tyson, loudly from the balcony. No, she isn't! Beyonce made a song called Single Ladies, then went home to her husband and left you lonely hoes dancing in a circle pretending to be happy, and made the money. I'm totally against the selfie stick, but every now and then, an exception comes along. It's rare, but it happens. There's a machine at Darlow train station that charges your phone, two pounds for 20 minutes. Someone's unplugged it and is charging their phone in its socket. Suck it. So how's the dating going, Lauren? Absolutely class, I thanks. Not only did I nearly kill a man, but I'm now responsible for him losing an internal organ. Incredible work. Oh, um, oh. Get well soon, you absolute prawn. Wow, dating is fun for you, huh? My 87-year-old grandfather recently got a Facebook, and this is the first thing he sends me. Hey, Courtney. Just to let you know that you're not the only one in the family with graphical art talents. Yeah, Courtney. Deal with it. No offense, but if someone's excited about something and you make them feel stupid for being excited about it, you're the worst type of person. Yeah, I don't deal with those people. Anyone that does that to me, you don't get a chance. I'm done. When I was a kid, I thought hacking was all about writing Matrix-like code. When in reality, it's just sending boomers emails that say, give me your passwords. And they do. <laughs> yeah, man. That social conditioning is a bitch. My son put some tricks in his ant farm. Instead of eating them, the ants dug up all of the dead ants in the farm and piled them on top of the tricks. Not sure what that means, but I'm not eating tricks anymore. My mother handed me 20 pounds. Take your brother to see a movie for his birthday. Keep him out until two while your father and I set up the surprise party. That was the day I realized my brother was the favorite twin. <laughs> Ouch. Wendy's needs to get rid of the square burger. It seems a little too artificial. Unlike the supernatural circle shape that hamburgers come in when you pick them off the vine. Silence check mark. A very annoying brain feature I have is what I call waiting mode. Like today I have to leave for an MRI at 245. Unfortunately, at 1230 or so, my brain decided to activate waiting mode, which means that instead of getting anything done, I just have to sit there and wait. Ooh, I have this, but it starts about, uh, 24 hours before the appointment. How do you politely tell your visitor that it's time to go home? Well, if you're from the Midwest, you just say, well, really forcefully and slap your knees with your hands, then stand up. Other Midwesterners will recognize the single and say, hmm, suppose we should head out as well. A blue whale is larger than a basketball court. Americans will use anything but the metric system. Come within three whales of America and say that, why don't you? Arby's is buying Buffalo Wild Wings for 2.9 billion. Where the f did Arby's get 2.9 billion dollars from? Dude, they have the meats. They've got a whole monopoly on the meats. What do you mean where'd they get the money from? They own it all. I painted this for my husband. It was the first piece I ever finished. He never stops talking about the cat he had growing up, so this was the best I could give him. I love this painting a lot. I know it doesn't mean anything to me, but I would buy this and hang it on my wall. It's just adorable. Never forget the time my brother missed the bus and wrote my mom this note. 
I missed the bus. As your son, I regret to inform you that I've missed my means of public transportation. I know you must be on a roller coaster of emotions right now, but rest assured, I've decided to stay home. <laughs> this was a tough decision to make while you were gone for 20 minutes. I'm probably in my bed, uh, something about the fact that I can't go to school. So please don't interrupt me. If you require any further assistance, please see the pros and cons chart on the backside. Pros. First day home this quarter, grade will be fine. Today was gonna be a bad one. <laughs> Can't get over my hair. Cons, might become a habit. You have to call the school and tell them I've got polio. <laughs> this kid was prepared. Every day I think about how this movie is the reason why the Seuss estate won't allow any more live action adaptations of the books. Dude, that movie rocked and you can kiss my left butt cheek. Jupiter, high on caffeine, sleep deprived, and doing its best to take care of 79 moons. Oh, I need to take the biggest poop! <laughs> Getting bored of 69 and 420, they should release new funny numbers. Oh now, there's nothing funny about the number of my murder victims. Yes, that's right, 388,000. I just realized Harry and the boys never had regular classes. No English, math, science, or history. Hogwarts alumni are probably dumb as hell. Considering it's canon that they just poop in the corner of a room and then magic it away, I'm not surprised. Basic sanitary care, people. You learn it in preschool. Honestly, we'll never top the year I told everyone I was going to be Amelia Earhart for Halloween and then didn't show up to the party. I like this. This is more on the nose than Invisible Man. This season of Earth is just not realistic. It's just not. So many plot holes. Like, where did the murder hornets go? Why introduce them if they aren't important to the story? Oh yeah, the murder hornets, I forgot about them. A drunk girl at this party asked me, so like, what's your backstory? I said, scoliosis. And she said, with complete sincerity, that's crazy, I'm a Libra. Uh, Banks email like, um, we have a message for you in your inbox. And then the message is like, hello, we are your bank. Yes, please, why send me an email to notify me of an email? I, it is an email inbox, it is not a notification board. This is not Facebook. Do not poke me. Empty tubes of wrapping paper. What do you do with them? A. Pretend it's a lifesaver. Or B. Bonk it on someone's head. Um, excuse me, where is the option of C? Both? My friend Adam has never texted me for a normal reason. Tyler, are you free at 7? And do you want to be on our bowling league for the night? We're down a player. Oh my god, he's from GTA 4. Random question. Do you want to go to a comedy show with my parents and me at 7.30 at Greenwich Village? Hey, do you happen to have a cowboy hat you're not using tonight? Tyler, I am once again asking the bowling question. Why is it so formal? <laughs> Are you sure you're not friends with Bernie? It was very stringy. You ever been to a pumpkin patch? Yeah. Got proof? Okay. Well, looks like cabbage. That's probably why the pie sucked. As I handed my dad his 50th birthday card, he looked at me with tears in his eyes and said, You know, one would have been enough. Father, no. <laughs> You've done 65. No. We are so close. <laughs> we cannot stop now. Please no more. Bring out card 51. No. It has glitter. No. I don't know what to say. Join our group. Catholics against seedless watermelons. It is impure. Meanwhile, down the street. Join the seedless water melons against Catholics. Yes, the hate has festered so strongly that we've developed sentience. Sadly, 500 people short to make it an even match. When a girl says, I'm cold, don't be an idiot and say, me too. That's some weirdly respectful advice coming from someone named Chad. Instead say, well damn Jackie, I can't control the weather. That's right, emotional aggression displays confidence. It's easy to have the courage of a lion. They're gigantic and have claws and no natural predators. Have the courage of a guinea pig, a two pound meat meat potato with zero offensive or defensive abilities that will scream at an ape 100 times its size if their lettuce is too wilty. Mankind wasn't meant to work in December. We were meant to hide from wolves, drink, and pray our autumn harvest will light us through the dark months. Tell me why the frick my brother took comparison photos in the same spot without me. It looks like I died. But Crush, you don't understand. You are. Dead gorgeous. <laughs> God, look at you. My guide dog in training visited a local school recently, which which turned out to be the school picture day. Today, they sent me this. He may not be a school captain, but he's still the goodest boy of the year. My childhood dream has come true. Canadian eatery puts tiny chairs around the little table that comes inside pizza boxes. As an Australian, I've never once experienced
is the pizza box with a little table in it. Nice to know that our pizza places are a bit more environmental friendly, but also I feel like I've missed out on childhood history. Kids who memorized how to say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious are now addicted to drugs. No, I'm just addicted to caffeine. It's totally different. The man in front of me on the flight home this weekend watched the first 15 minutes of Citizen Kane, turned it off, and then watched the entirety of Elf. Hey, the man knows good cinema. 2011 was the year movies finally nailed stylized hyperrealism in 3D animated movies without it looking like the uncanny valley, and then proceeded to never do so ever again. Yes, Rango, I swear it deserved far more respect when it came out. My boyfriend, historian, published two books, basically a public intellectual, looking at a picture of a triceratops. Does this animal still exist? As I hoisted my own luggage into the trunk, my very Polish cab driver, impressed, shouted, Strong girl, fam! And this is the only way I wish strange men to speak with me moving forward. I mean, it's complimenting still, but also very aggressive. What's upsetting about hearing my neighbor have it on was realizing she can hear me ask my dog if we're best friends multiple times a day. Every microwave has a popcorn button, and every bag of popcorn says, do not use that button. I'm tired of these flirty little games. Americans have $33 billion worth of unused tech just sitting around, according to new report. Eh, GameStop values it at $6. Not me catching a flight to Utah to meet this man I met online two days ago with only 120 in my account. He said I won't need anything, not even bags. Ted Bundy would be doing triple doubles every day in this generation. I wish Animal Crossing was real and my only plans for tomorrow were getting up and watering my tulips, then hanging out with my cat friends, then finding money in trees to pay off my debt to a raccoon. You know, most of that is completely doable in real life. I mean, the raccoon thing's debatable, but I'm sure if they dress up in one. The hardest part about falling in love with my local 7-Eleven cashier is knowing she'll never go out with me as she scans my double gulp cup full of nacho cheese. Hashtag heartbroken. I've been wearing my boyfriend's hoodie around the house for the last week. I tried to give it back last night. That's not my hoodie. Realized with horror that I've been wearing our builder's hoodie in front of the builder. I had a little sleep in at one point. Came out my room. Said good morning to the builder. Wearing his clothes. After years of them begging to see it, I decided to let my kids watch the ring. We're watching it together. So far, I've had to explain VCRs, landline phones, photo development stores, newspapers. What other horrors await in the ring? Oh, the constant pausing and playing must be absolutely terrifying. You're either good at eating poo-tang or you understand NFTs. What the hell's even a poo-tang? I explained to my daughter that when Netflix started, they used to send you DVDs. My six-year-old, in an old lady voice. You know, back in my day, the internet used to come in the mail. Oh, child, yes. Yes, that was a very clever joke. Someone crucified that guy who made our table. A guy who only knew Jesus from his carpentry. The color of 2022 is GameCube blue. Next year is blessed. Now I am a male, but even I can debate. That is a slightly different shade than Pantone. I'm sorry to disappoint you, blue eyes one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is that name? You really want Seto Kaiba to notice you, don't you? Does anyone else ever just crave the wafer of a Kit Kat and wash the chocolate off? Hey, what, what the frick did I do? You know what you did. You don't got what you deserved. The 80s on Netflix versus the 80s in real life. Oh, don't acknowledge the best smoking habits. As a very old person, I feel qualified to say that most modern media set in the 80s failed to capture how freaking brown everything was. Yeah, there's a very apparent reason as to why a lot of 80s uh, out there fashion was overly colorful and bright. Me watching Bake Off. You fool! You can't dip the walnut well in the tempered chocolate. You have to drizzle it over the top to achieve the characteristic wobble of the coffee ganache, Parisian cafe style. Me baking at home. I forgot to put the apples in the apple pie. What was that magic spell to make my poo disappear as well? Oh, that's it. Agio feces. To make a TV show, you need one banana-shaped man and one orange-shaped man. Let me explain. <laughs> it's true, one of the most iconic lettering styles of all time. Ice. <laughs> I just told a story at work about my childhood that I thought was really funny, but now everyone's super quiet and someone said I'm so sorry. Uh-oh, you've done it. You can't put the worms back in. 
When my two-year-old plays Animal Crossing, all she does is go straight to Brewster's, drink ten cups of coffee, hang out in the fish section of the museum for an hour, and then stop playing. There's a strong chance she's the only one of us playing correctly. Yeah, I'd say it's more than just a strong chance. If you're an astronaut and you don't end every relationship by saying, look, I just need space, then you're wasting everyone's time. Well, there are very few of them, okay? They can't all be this cool. Comedians like to complain that other jobs don't get paid in exposure, but to be fair, surgeons don't have a beer mid-surgery and announce they're going to try out some new stuff. Why not? They deserve to have some fun. Pretty wild coincidence that the best music ever made just so happens to be all of the stuff I listened to from the ages of 15 to 25. Insane how that works, huh? One thing no one ever talks about being an adult is how much time you debate yourself on keeping a cardboard box because, like, it's a really good box. I've got so many boxes I don't need. What are you eating? Breakfast burrito? That's a regular burrito that I am eating for breakfast. Pay attention. Saw this cloud and thought it looked like a girl sleeping, so one thing led to another and I sketched this. That's a cowboy hat, actually? Yeah, I agree. My apartment's pest control guy always refers to Richie, my cat, as a fellow industry professional. And he's correct. He's just not getting paid for some reason. The human has only smiled once today. It was when I rolled over with my feet in the air and sneezed. It wasn't on purpose, but they seem to really enjoy it. So since then, I've been lying on my back, desperately trying to sneeze. No, you'll get there. Keep going. Count Dracula was 412 when he moved to England in search of new blood. Sauron was 54,000 years old when he forged the One Ring. Cthulhu had seen galaxies flare into life and fade into darkness before he put madness in the minds of men. It's never too late to follow your dreams. That is the most inspiring thing I've heard today. After 30 years of living, I've just realized that Liam is short for William. I mean, I guess. Remembering that time in grad school when my advisor, a great ornithologist, got a random call. Drunk guy, bar noises in the background. Is this the bird professor? Um, yes. Do hummingbirds have feet? Yes. Wild cheering from over the phone. The problem with 10.30 p.m. is that it comes exactly one minute before 2.30 a.m. if you're not careful. I'm never careful. My son's school taught him to say, Bon appetit, you may now eat, before every meal. And I'm gonna really miss that when he's 14 and tells me to go f*** myself. I often daydream about winning the Powerball and buying the license to, Yeah, okay, I get it, friends is bad, friends is bad, blah blah blah, who gives a sh It's objectively very well written, bye bye Feel free to dress slutty at my funeral, it's what I would've wanted. Feel free to use me as a puppet at mine. I still think non-fungible sounds like it means cannot be turned into a mushroom. Is that not what it means? Girls will be like, if I turned into a miniature pie, would you eat me in one bite or a few and get mad at your answer? Well, I mean, the way I see it, I'm gonna be biting more than a few times. I need to savor that. You a snack. Although literally now. Apparently, everybody's mad they redesigned Andy for Toy Story 4. Meanwhile, I'm grateful we don't have to look at this golem anymore. Yeah, I don't know why people would be mad about them making him look like a human. I hope Google never shuts down. I know like six, maybe seven things. Dude, it became a verb. I don't think it's ever just gonna shut down one day. Today I gave an iPhone and $500 to a homeless guy. You'll never know the happiness I felt when he put his gun away. <laughs> oh, just giving back, you know? Me. Here comes Greg. He's always talking about scarecrows. Hey, man. Oh my god, shut the f*** up, Greg. Why are IT guys such dicks? Last week, I drove two hours to push the power button on a server that three separate people assured me was already on. Yeah, you deserve to be a every now and then. Just, could you guys stop wearing f***ing Hawaiian shirts and shorts? I love when a song is maybe about Jesus or maybe about a hot woman. Hey, the best songs are ones that seem like they could be about Jesus, but you're never sure, like most of Owl City's songs. My knee just cracked so loudly that I half expected it to glow in the dark tonight. Well, it sucks that it didn't. I cannot stop laughing. Our sincerest apologies. Dear Adam, this morning you received our weekly Recipe of the Week email, which is sent to you every Friday. In today's email, we highlighted a grilled meatloaf recipe. At the time we shared this recipe with you, we were not aware of the unfortunate passing of American singer and actor Mr. Marvin Lee a day, or whatever, I don't give a shit, also known as Meatloaf. That is f***ing hilarious. Android game. You can watch a 30-second ad and revive. Me? No thanks. Plays a 30-second unskippable ad anyway and gives me nothing in return. <laughs> it's just complete scamware. I don't care how bad the relationship is, I'm not calling a radio station for advice. Well good, it's 2022, you don't need to do that anymore. I love overhearing dog owners talking to their dogs. I was petting this dog who seemed happy. 
but then suddenly growled at me, so I left. As I turned the corner, I could hear his owner telling him, reproachfully, You always do this, Oscar. You drive away all your friends. America got bronze in skateboarding? We truly are a culture in decline. That's what happens when you send the skaters that can pass a drug test. Ain't that the truth, man? It's crazy that we kept trying to top Heath Ledger's Joker with more scary Jokers, instead of putting Sasha Baron Cohen in the brightest purple suit we could find and letting him mine a kind of terror that we weren't ready for. That man, ooh, he could have done something real freaky deaky, you know what I mean? It would be awful. Last night my son asked if I'd ever heard of a pillow fight. I said I had not. So he explained the premise and asked if I would play. I awkwardly held a pillow as he gave me pointers through a smile that lit up the room. My first swing took him off his feet. He never saw it coming. And he learned a valuable lesson, like never going to iFunny. I'll never forgive the kid who told me I had my sh lined up like the Pizza Hut logo in front of everyone. F*** you, Marcus. <laughs> Before my mom passed away, she gave my dad strict instructions to water the plants in the bathroom. He's been religiously watering them and keeping them alive. They look so amazing, he decided to take them to his new home, only to discover they are plastic. Can hear my mom chuckling. Ah, that's a good one. OMG, in Minnesota right now, it's negative 15 degrees, and a truck crashed, and all of the potatoes it was hauling spilled out and are now frozen to the freeway. So now nobody can drive on the frozen potato freeway. All I heard was free potatoes. How can everyone in fantasy movies always be so shocked when they see a dragon? Look around, babe. You're an elf. You live in a realm. Waiter, would you like a super salad? Clark Kent laughs nervously. <laughs> a super salad? <laughs> I'll just have a regular salad, please. All right. A regular salad for a regular man? <laughs> a 500-year-old skeleton was found in London wearing thigh-high leather boots. Her name is Madonna. Show some respect. The funniest thing I've ever said was on April 11th, 2009 to my dad's cat, and no one else was around to hear it. A car horn honked, and he hopped off my bed and ran downstairs, and I said, Oh, sh is your ride here? And laughed alone to myself for like five minutes straight. That was the funniest thing you've ever said? A little girl just came up to the ice cream truck and asked if she could buy ice cream with a blue rock she found. I am now one blue rock richer. My finances. Yo, that ain't bad, though. That's a good trade. New roommate. Okay, the ground rules. Yeah, dude, the ground rocks. Rule number one, no more of that. I'd rather repeatedly take scooters to the ankle than have one of those jobs where you have to approach people in the street and get them to sign up for <laughs> Oh, nope, I'd rather die. Still not over how yesterday when my flight landed in Nashville, our pilot said we arrived 50 minutes early because he took some shortcuts. Sir, we were in the sky. What do you mean? Wormhole. Don't worry about it. Only pilots know. I want to hang out sim style. I go to your house, we talk for 30 seconds, I make myself spaghetti in your kitchen and become best friends with your mom. Playing Skyrim the Quaker way. No weapons, listening to every NPC that I pass, picking flowers. Ah. Someone just emailed me a professional email that ended in we could have snipped it in the butt earlier. Snipped it in the butt. Nipped it in the bud. Correct. Nipped it in the butt. Incorrect. Snipped it in the butt. Incorrector. What's the incorrectest then? God. To make you all safer, I've made sure 50% of humanity is alert in the morning and 50% in the evening. Humans. We'll make the other 50% also get up in the morning. Hold on. Not getting up at 5 a.m. is a moral failure. Uh, no, stop. Society demands it, you bum. As someone who took her husband's last name, I don't recommend it. Not for feminist reasons, but because sometimes I forget how to spell it. Ah, I see. Woman sits down next to me, sees him, and says, he's taken up two seats. Right, okay. I think millennials killed the I hate my spouse genre of humor, and honestly, I'm so proud of us. This used to be like half of all jokes. Yeah, old people really only thought that hating your wife was funny. Everything else was too naughty. The guy fixing our internet has gone through so many troubleshooting options, he just stood up and was like, I gotta check if the Grimster is in, and started calling someone. The Grimster didn't help, so now he's calling his friend Tyler. He was like, Tyler's the man, he would know. Tyler had the solution, Comcast guy. I'm so glad I called Tyler. Dude, you have to have your ace in the hole. We currently have no Duke of Edinburgh, York, or Sussex. I don't want to alarm anyone, but we are again exposed to Viking marauders on the eastern flank. Oh, sh you guys are going down. 90% of my web searches are me googling words to make sure they actually mean what I think they mean before I post them online. Kinda the same for me, but I'm also making sure I'm not misspelling them in some stupid way somehow. Due to expected severe weather, Monday's weightlifting workout has been cancelled. Find an elderly or disabled neighbor and shovel their driveway. Don't accept any money. That's our Monday workout. Do you think Santa would still be popular if instead of going ho ho ho, he did the feel-good ink laugh? 
I know I'd like Santa a lot more. Oh boy, if NFTs has a million haters, I'm one of them. No, I get it. Ratio. Ratio. Yeah, keep trying. Keep trying, friend. You'll, you'll never get there. Why is the chosen one always a teenager? We're really gonna put the fate of the universe on someone with an undeveloped prefrontal cortex? Give me a story with a chosen one who's a 42-year-old mom that's already seen some shit and is totally out of to give. I'd watch that anime in a heartbeat. I was extremely upset on a family vacation once, and I asked my brother how he always stays so calm, and he says he tries not to think about anything that isn't boobs or swords, and every day I try to live up to that example. Boobs or swords, that's pretty legit. A high school reunion, but instead of classmates, it's all your favorite co-workers you've had from past jobs throughout your lifetime. Ooh, that'd be fun. My daily routine with ADHD. Wake up. Do nothing for five hours. Panic. Do stuff in a panic for one to two hours. Hyperfixate on doing one thing for four hours. The wrong thing. Existential dread. Make pact with myself to break out of this pattern tomorrow. Repeat pattern tomorrow. Hey, hey, screw you, man. I used to think I could control ducks with my mind, but it turns out ducks and I just have very similar ideas about what stuff ducks should do. That's ducks for you. Tearfully waving out the train window as my girlfriend runs alongside. 45 minutes later, she's still keeping pace. It's inhuman. Everyone on the train is screaming. I'm begging her to stop, but she can't hear me. Her eyes are pure white. Police helicopters circle overhead. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the smartest animals. Al, wearing graduation cap. Worm, in an apple, wearing glasses. It's true, my school books say so. It's crazy that we kept trying to top Heath Ledger's Joker with more scary jokers instead of putting Sasha Baron Cohen in the brightest purple suit we could find and let him mine a kind of terror that we weren't ready for. No, no, Daniel, he's onto something. I would like to see this. At a skate park, older dude outside the fence sees me and yells, Do a kickflip! So I did one. He then turns to his friend and says, Holy shit! Schmidt, he actually did it! Wow, cool story, random skateboarder on the internet. Did you find this humiliating or liberating? I was just happy to make it first try. Mike Perry asking for the Halo theme song for his walkout and getting Halo by Beyonce instead is one of the funniest things to happen and it's not talked about enough. Yes, I imagine that is his face indeed when they came on. No, my masculinity! Mike Perry picked it, maybe. Just helped a Russian man find a fedora at Target. He looked at himself in the mirror, said, Yeah, this looks good, I like it. Then he turned to me and said, When you turn 60 like me, women don't look at you anymore. You get fat and start dying. We are all born to die. Okay, what's that got to do with a fedora though, man? Come on. My boyfriend told me that when we started talking, he saw I tweeted about how I'd fall in love when I met a man who didn't use three-in-one shampoo. So he went to the store that night to buy shampoo and conditioner because he didn't want to risk it. Lama. Thanks, fellas, we figured it out. Carson DeLosa Printing Company is where this art comes from. No actual source on an artist, so I conclude there is no human being behind this. And this company spawned out of nowhere and generates this art like some sort of SCP. I learned today that a group of students used a Google Doc to take lecture notes. They all took notes simultaneously in a collective file. As they took notes, they would mark places they were confused or couldn't follow the lecture. Other students would see and explain real time. At the end of the semester, as they are prepping for finals, they have this massive document of notes, questions, and explanations from peers. I don't know where they learned this or if they just came up with it together, but it is amazing. Truly brilliant collaboration and solidarity. The, the sol that word. This is great, but you just know there's one pessimistic lecturer or teacher out there who's gonna ban this sort of behavior. Helping each other learn? That's cheating! My girlfriend is crying, weeping, while playing Mario Kart. Are you gonna let me win one? Frick no! I'm not taking a dive because you don't know how to aim with green shells. This is real life! Grow up! I dumped my girlfriend in 8th grade and by the end of the day, she was dating someone else. Yesterday, she married him. A little much to get my attention, don't you think? Move on, babe. My boyfriend said, You look like if Paddington was in the Matrix. You know what? Accurate. What's a little known but obvious fact that will immediately make all of us feel stupid. Percentages are reversible. 8% of 25 is the same as 25% of 8, and one of them is much easier to do in your head. Human. We have a color named after you. Salmon. Oh, really? Is it silvery blue like my outsides? No, uh... Wait. Why is it pink? Um... Oh. Why is it pink? 
Adele's Oprah concert proves she didn't lose her voice with those pounds. She lost weight. She didn't make a deal with a sea witch. Harry Potter befriending the first two people he meets on the way to school and staying friends with them until death is the most relatable part of the series. I disagree, I think that's the most unrelatable part. Those three genuinely had no other progress or paths in their life to take that would separate them? Come on! Someone, please, anyone, develop and require two-factor authorization to use reply all in emails. I beg of you. Any other bitches with astigmatisms want to square up with the inventor of LED headlights? We ride, but not at dawn or dusk. None of the science fiction stories I read in my youth predicted everybody would be afraid to answer their phones due to non-stop harassment from robots. Well, thanks for making me more self-aware of something that I realize I too have a fear of. Officially starting a rumor that the dudes from Dave and Buster's are the same as the dudes from Buster's. Barnes and Noble, Dave Barnes and Buster Noble. Why not? Who freaking cares? When my wife, who's shy as frick, first met my extended family, we had a big dinner with about 14 people. At the end of the meal, I said, to say thanks, she'd love to sing for you all. Everyone went silent and stared at her, and she still hasn't forgiven me nine years later, mainly because she divorced me. Meanwhile, thoughts of dog. There are so many humans in the household right now. The odds that a snack will hit the floor at the highest they have been in several years. Snack sniffer on high gray alert. School dress code update. Students cannot wear clothing with the name of any musician or band unless the student can name at least three of their songs. The eighth grader who said, I thought Nirvana was a clothing brand. Last week has been suspended indefinitely. If a movie character gets shot, here. They're required to keep it to themselves for a while. Later in the movie, they must open their shirt or jacket, revealing an alarming amount of blood, followed by an another character saying, You're hurt! This is law. How can we recognize when something is strawberry scented when actual strawberries don't even have a smell? This tweet is ticking me off because it makes sense! I feel like everyone worships avocado and I'm struggling because it tastes like compressed wet grass lump, but nobody will listen and I'm all alone in this world. Please let me just pretend I don't relate, please. Hey man, do you dry off your face after a shower with the same towel you used to dry your balls, or do you have a separate ball towel? You start with the face, then head on down. The towel forgets everything by tomorrow. I'm sure it damn tries to. Home security reminder, a lot of people are going away for Christmas, which makes their homes easy pickings for burglars. For security reasons, I strongly recommend leaving one of your children behind to construct a series of elaborate booby traps and defend your interests. So that's why our birth rates have been skyrocketing since Home Alone. Having children makes so much sense to me now. Lines my husband has actually used in the last 24 hours. Well, the turkey is dressed. Now let's get you undressed. <laughs> the turkey is stuffed. Wanna be next? <laughs> now that you've mashed the potatoes. I want to mash you. <laughs> the turkey is in the oven. Let's go pretend we can put something in yours. <laughs> Look, these are disgusting, I'll be honest. <laughs> if someone puts down a plus four card, you must draw four and your turn is skipped. You can't put down a plus two to make the next person draw six. We know you've tried it. Oh, what about a plus four and a plus four? No. You don't even know how to play the game right. Yeah, why the hell you gotta gatekeep your own game like that? How dare you? It just took 93 year old mum to vote. She's registered blind. In a loud voice, she said, Which box for war with France? A cheer went up from waiting voters. You want me to drink water? <gasps> the thing that killed Chuck in Titanic? No, thank you. Gotta respect the longevity of Microsoft Word. Nothing about it works, and it's still the standard. Want to move an image? Go to hell. Edit a PDF? Edit your expectations. Ignore a spelling mistake? How about suck my dick? That'll be $150. Just remembered a story I was told last night about this guy who took a sack and started talking to his dog, and the dog taught him to stop calling calling him Buster because his name was Dave, and after that day, the dog only responded to Dave. Oh, that's disturbing. When I was in ninth grade, I got caught selling me. My mom was devastated, so she transferred me to a rich private school thinking that was gonna help the situation, but in reality, she gave me a promotion. Is the Grinch his name or his ethnicity or his job? Yes, me pre-kids. I'm never gonna lie to my kids ever. Me with kids. 
I just got off the phone with Santa, the firefighter dog from Paw Patrol, and the Green Power Ranger, and they all agree. If you don't put your shoes on, they're gonna have to put down another unicorn. I set out a suitcase to pack for my flight later today and spotted my three-year-old crawling inside it to hide. I casually zipped it up, yelled, I'm off to the airport, everybody, and carried it to the car. I've circled the block twice, and my luggage hasn't stopped laughing. Okay, that's cute, but uh, maybe put some holes in that thing, just to, just to be safe. Came over to see what my daughter was listening to on Spotify. What? Oh no, are you worried that your daughter has good taste? Make parties more interesting by telling strangers, I want you to know that I personally have no problem with you being here. Oh, thank you. Uh, me, Professor X. Yes, I can read minds. Me. Yes, I suppose the name Alvin and the Chipmunks alludes to himself not being one. Huh. My favorite part while seeing the Batman. Movie. Shot of a dark alley next to some criminals. Kid in the audience. Batman's in there! Nothing happens and the scene changes. Kid in the audience again. I'm sorry, everyone. I thought he was in there. Yeah, that happened for sure, man. Why was there always a bite taken out of one of these mofos? I think it's because it was a popular toy to use with your dog. Or, in very, very, very rare occasions, your cat. <laughs> yeah, man, it was like a dog toy. And feral toddler toy. Gen Z will never understand growing up with parents who basically poured a gallon of milk into your body with a funnel every day because Big Milk told them if we didn't drink enough, our bones would go soft and we'd turn into pudding people and get kidnapped at the mall. <laughs> Gen X did have some weird beliefs. Oh, it's Drew. This is what I picture in my head whenever radio stations say they have the best mix of 80s, 90s, and today. It's been today for 21 years. You can't keep getting away with this. I mean, almost 22 now, Drew, but no, you, you, you make a good point. You make a good point. I like the radio stations that do 80s, 90s, and whatever, because then they avoid this entirely, Mr. Gooden. I don't understand why people would want to get rid of pigeons. They don't bother no one. Thank you, Mr. Michael Tyson. My right hand. I shall carry 30 bags of groceries at once. My left hand. I got the bread. Human DNA contains all the necessary genes to produce feathers. It's merely a matter of selective activation. Well, selectively activate them then. Finally, we can stop being featherless bipeds. Where's my on switch? Grows feathers and bursts into an auditorium. Behold, a chicken! I ask my students to send me photos of their dogs doing classwork. It's an underappreciated photography genre. I'll say it's underappreciated, I wanna see some more! My parents are replacing their coffee machine, which is seven years old. Me? That's not that old, I have sheets older than that. Well, perhaps your sheets aren't getting as much action as our coffee machine. <laughs> oh, your mom just killed you. Oh, brutal cold-blooded murder. <laughs> Need to postpone. Hi, Rachel. I've lost control of the day. Easily the most relatable email I've ever received. Just in case nobody told you today, don't overthink it. Thank you. Thank you very much, I needed that. Ah, your daily dose of Easter Island head. Great. The gum gum guy from Night at the Museum strikes again. Cannot believe I used to complain about school. Nine to three every day. No weekends, six weeks off for the summer. Easter halls? Never seen that done before. Bank halls, inset days, seeing my friends every day. I was living the absolute dream and I didn't even realize. Good for you. I was actually quite depressed the entire time. <laughs> Dying sounded pretty good during school, but I'm glad that you look back on it thinking, wow, that would be good to go back to. I was not born to work, retire, and die. I was born to brood, wear a lot of black, and eventually become a feared poltergeist. You will. Wearing this to Regal Cinema tonight, then saying in my deepest voice possible, one ticket to sing too. No, you have to prove that. You gotta make a video of that. You have to. I once watched a colleague, who had just returned to work after maternity leave, highlight every email in her inbox and press delete. When she saw the look on my face, she shrugged and said, if they really need to talk to me, they'll find me. I think of her nearly every day. <laughs> we should all just start doing that. When I broke up with my high school boyfriend, my 10-year-old brother walked in on me crying and asked what was wrong. I told him. Then he proceeded to go log on to Minecraft, join my ex's party, and go set their town on fire. A family of psychos. No, no, he's just a good family member, man. <laughs> At bedtime, the eight-year-old told me his teacher said this. Think of your mind like a pond full of fish, and each fish is a feeling. Try to be the pond, not the fish. And all I can say is primary school has significantly improved. 
I'm trying to do that right now and it's not working. I am a pond of stress. There's a line in The Batman where they reveal the Riddler has over 500 online followers like that's a lot. <laughs> Jesus only had 12, so <laughs> one was a hate follow. Oh yeah! I've been alive 20 years and still haven't found the right thing to say when someone knocks on the door of the public bathroom you're in. <clears throat> Come in! I saw this and I was like, it's coming in four years, but no. Now I need a minute. Euphoria Season 3 will not release until 2024. Here's the internet's take on the series so far. Oh yeah, damn. You know the Nintendo DS is almost 20 years old? I feel like the irony of a band called Franz Ferdinand having their number one song titled Take Me Out is probably lost on the majority of their listeners. I, I doubt it. I really doubt that's lost on anybody that listens to a band named Franz Ferdinand. Can we normalize not confusing someone's free time with their availability? Yeah, just because I'm not doing anything does not mean you get to volunteer me for sh My kid scored 69 points in a hand of Uno and said, According to the memes, a funny number. Why is it funny, I asked. According to the memes. How old is this child, three years old and a super genius? Lord, please take this gas out of my stomach and put it in my car. Soon we'll be able to run our cars on farts. My boss deactivated my coworker's email who just quit too quickly and didn't realize it controls our company calendar. So now all of those events for the next three years are gone. Just had a great conversation with my cat. We discussed the following. Is he a little baby? He is in fact a little baby. The fact that he's very cute. The origin of how he got to be so cute. Why he is so little and details as to how he's a good boy. This is the same conversation I have with Munchkin like 30 times a day. You ask me for the time and notice my watch is actually a live shrimp hugging my wrist. He whispers, 12.30. But he's guesstimating, as shrimps usually do. Hostage or not, sometimes it's nice being held. That's fair, Daniel. That is fair. A propos of nothing. Apropos? A pro... Uh, never mind. I would like them to remind you all the time of... Who? was so committed to historical accuracy that he googled a recipe for red dye, copied the first result into his book, and did not ever realize that it was from Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh! <laughs> Fantastic, what a great book. Study three years for degree, three more for PhD, join lab, start working, spend years studying the problem, form hypothesis, gather evidence, test hypothesis, form conclusions, report findings, clear peer review. Findings published, reported in press, guy on internet, bullsh**. Well, there are a lot of people out there that can't handle the idea that there are a lot of people smarter than them. I mixed up a couple of glass jars and accidentally made a milk tea with instant yeast instead. Do not recommend. Yeah, I wonder why you wouldn't recommend that. My husband, the extrovert, and I, the introvert, got separated on our flight. We're in middle seats in the same row. I've already apologized to the people sitting next to me like seven times. My husband is sharing beef jerky with strangers and I think he's now in someone's wedding. Stop bringing shitty Bluetooth speakers on hikes. No one came to the woods to hear you listen to Katy Perry. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Be careful out there, everyone. I had two Lakers tickets in my car and someone broke in and left four more. Oh, dude, you just can't trust anyone nowadays. Today, my five-year-old laughed at this painting in the middle of a museum for like six minutes. <laughs> and I would too, I can't blame them, that's freaking hilarious. Meal prepping is great for people who are committed to ruining their weekends in an effort to regularly eat four-day-old leftovers. I hate meal prep. Nope, never gonna do it. Tupperware? More like Tupperware, the f is the lid? This is the most $8 has ever changed my life. Well, if you get shit on the light and it changes color, or you know, it just like gets dimmer. I learned you can sue somebody for loss of enjoyment of life. <laughs> and I have a f list. Remember the lesbian wedding I went to back in September? <laughs> I am allowed to share one wedding photo on my cursed Twitter and I <laughs> look at them ethereal, beautiful brides. This is the best wedding photo I have seen so far. They've got fucking swords! If you approach me and say any of the following words within the first sentence, crypto, NFT, metaverse, or mayonnaise, I'm immediately walking away. Completely fair. If anybody ever walked up to me and said, do you like mayonnaise, or really any variation including that word, mm, no, we're not gonna work out. Bank account, $1,400. Me to a Girl Scout. Give me the thick mints, please. I wonder if birds fly for fun or if they're always on some mission. 
Well, I know pigeons aren't on any mission. They're just doing it for fun. We'll be having with robots in the next 10 years. Only three more to go, folks. I hated muffins until I was 17 and saw someone remove the wrapper on the bottom of a muffin before eating one. Prior to this, you see, I thought it was just part of the muffin eating experience and I would angrily eat muffin wrappers because I just thought I had to. <laughs> <laughs> awesome notification to get. Two men fighting, 0.2 miles away. Ooh, that's actually really close. I'm gonna go find him. Having clinical depression is highly genetic, which means there's a direct line between me and my one incredibly sad ancestor who was still hot enough to reproduce. I think of them often. In a sense, none of our dinosaurs have ever escaped because society itself is just another larger cage. Yeah, that sounds so smart. But yeah, like 18 to 19 dinosaurs are currently loose. True love is when your pets know you're sad and they cuddle with you. My cat thinks I'm a jackass. He's right. When I was a kid, if a movie character had a cell phone, it meant they were a workaholic who hated Christmas. That's still the case. I like that pineapple dog tweet a lot. When you see a pineapple. <laughs> How cute. There aren't any dogs at the park right now, and Cheesecake is not happy. I was promised there'd be bitches here. Me, staring out the window. Looks like rain, submarine captain. What? Uh, but like, more? <laughs> Does anyone else eat their meal in order from their least favorite part to their favorite part? Or do I have some rare form of OCD? No, I do that. There was a couple having wild with the lights on and the curtains wide open in the hotel room opposite me. And I couldn't help but feel sorry for them and their lack of Elden Ring. Is this the guy from iZombie? Anyway, he's right. I'd feel pretty bad for them too. This Rorschach guy was kind of a freak for drawing so many pictures of my parents having sex. <laughs> a little cringe. Where did Scar's accent come from? Did he study abroad? I don't know. But I've always wondered what the hell they called him before he got the scar. Sean yawns. I'm tired. Sean yawns. Me too. Sean yawns. And me. Anakin, is it possible to learn this power? Palpatine grins. Not from a Jedi. Which is why I use Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn and teach just about anything. Get two months of Skillshare Premium for free with coupon code SHEEVE. Do it. Me, pre-kids. I'm never gonna lie to my kids ever. Me with kids. So I just got off the phone with Santa, the firefighter dog from Paw Patrol, and the Green Power Ranger, and they all agree. If you don't put your shoes on, they're gonna have to put down another unicorn. The new Batman movie suggests that Thomas and Martha Wayne were killed in 2001, which means it's very likely that they died taking their beloved son Bruce to the theater to see Shrek. Ah, no, they went to see a stage play. Nice try! I remember the first time I asked my dad to sign something for me in high school. He shook his head and said, if I sign this, you're gonna have to learn how to forge my signature. If you sign it from the start, you'll be able to sign whatever you want and they'll never know. Ah, why are you doing this, dad? A typical website visit in 2022. Step one, figure out how to decline all but essential cookies. Step two, Close the support widget asking if I need help. Step three, stop the auto-playing video. Step four, close the subscribe to our newsletter pop-up. And step five, try to remember why I came here in the first place. Look, the guy that invented the pop-up ad has apologized profusely. He didn't know what he was unleashing upon the world. It is f***ed up that no matter how good a pie smells, it won't actually make you float up off the ground when you smell it. You know, I've been noticing that more and more recently, and it's been making me more and more sad. Life is like soccer, because my mom signed me up for it and expects me to try my best even though I f***ing hate soccer. Imagine you're living inside a tiny mushroom house with a tiny chimney deep in the woods. No one knows you exist. You make soup in a tiny pot. You are free. I'd want adventure to find me. Just overheard this guy at a coffee shop talking about his librarian girlfriend, and he said, It's really hard to get into arguments with her because she cites her sources. Ha! Suck it! That sounds like a you problem. Why don't they just make the Tupperware spaghetti colored right there at the factory? Why does our Tupperware need to be clear? I mean, I understand being able to look inside of it and just see what food it is, but I never have enough leftovers for myself to go, Huh, what the hell this one? I just know what it is. I don't leave 14 different sets of leftovers in the fridge and have to visually inspect them. There are two types of people in this world. People who go, ooh, big stretch when a dog stretches, and sociopaths. 
<laughs> oh, I do that for my cat. Last night after mass, I stopped at a mini mart, and the young man working there, who was blaring some kind of screaming metal music, looked at me, perplexed, as though deciding whether or not to speak up, then said, Did you know you have some black stuff on your face? What? Some women have been finessing men into buying them expensive <coughs> for years and just ghosting them after. But a man does it, and he gets a documentary made about him called The Tinder Swindler. <laughs> had a music playlist called For Her, and she just had sex with another guy to it. Life's been hard, hasn't it? But I promise you, you'll get through this, man. We used to pay real money for ringtones, and now if my phone makes a noise, it ruins my day. Oh, dude. I remember having to make ringtones through iTunes. Asked my therapist who their therapist was and went to see them. Asked them the same thing until I got to the final boss therapist and defeated them with my train wreck of a life. Pro tip, never be sad on a holiday or weekend. Cry on a work day. Get paid for your depression. Don't let capitalism win. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I cry on company time.